it's good 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 afternoon we'll make it pretty snappy because we can tell that you have a big story um, today bigger than all that has happened in court so we'll make it pretty snappy I think um, you have followed for the several hours of today the legal arguments that were made by counsel uh, for the petitioner and then responded to by uh, counsel for first respondent, counsel for second respondent. I think at the end of the matter, I want to draw your attention to the words of the Supreme Court speaking through His Lordship, the Chief Justice, in ruling. And I want to focus on that because uh, lawyers express their opinions on the law, what they think the law means, what they think a proper construction of the law ought to mean. And I think today you are noticing that our friends on the other side now keep using the phrase that, in our opinion, in our opinion, in our opinion. Initially, the argument was as though it was fact. Um, but you notice that the point is being made that people express opinions, the court determines in the end. The court has said that the legal arguments, the provisions of some of the acts and uh, the CI and some of the authorities that the petitioner's legal team tried to invoke, together with the principles of equity, and if you just listen to the court, it says that the positions that they were expressing are not supported by the law or the principles of equity. So even a reiteration of it before the press and a re-explanation does not change the fact that the law does not support the position that they've been expressing. And so we will not uh, go into a reiteration of all the legal arguments that uh, we made. I think there's about a third time that the court has dealt with this, this, this type of issue and has come to a certain conclusion on it. The court also says that they did not satisfy even the minimum threshold required to sustain an application of this nature. You know, sometimes when we make this point, it appears as though we ourselves are saying it. We are not the ones saying it. The court, I think there's a third time that the court has made the argument that the law does not support their position. They have not met the legal threshold. So we are not the ones saying that what they are saying does not align with the law. For someone to say we are disrespecting our seniors, etc. The court, the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana, is the one that is making the point that they have not satisfied even the minimum threshold. So we won't bore you with too much detail. The court has decided that on the 4th of March, judgment should be delivered in this matter. This is after the petitioner who came to court, among other things, arguing that nobody won this election, has called three witnesses. And as now, I think in the last two or three applications, been praying the court to literally finesses. And as now, I think in the last two or three applications, been praying the court to literally force the EC chair into the box so that he can reopen his case and advance something else which he hasn't told the court, something else that can help make a better case uh, for him. The court has decided that uh, despite its earlier warning that if its processes are not complied with, it can strike out the matter, it will still accommodate them so that they can file their written um, addresses. I think this is clear evidence that nobody's been denied a fair trial here. The court has bent itself backwards and is accommodating the interest of all parties. So we look forward to the uh, 4th of March for judgment. If it is the view of the court that they want to invite our lawyers, Viva Voke, to address some issues, um, they are more than prepared so to do. But Ghanaians have followed the journey that has gone on so far in the courts, where the petitioner was being looked to to adduce the evidence. I heard our colleagues here saying that the mathematics is clear. But you have been here covering for all the days that we have been here. And I'm not sure that to you, you saw mathematics that yielded results other than 47% for the petitioner, Mr. John Dramani Mahama, and 51.2 for the second respondent, Nana Adodanko Akufuado. That was the mathematics that you saw Mr. Johnson Asiedun Ketia arrive at. That was the arithmetic that he arrived at. The answer that he arrived at when he did the various computations. Today you are hearing them telling you that the mathematics is clear. It's Nobody crossed the 49%. But in the wells of the Supreme Court, before the 
justices. And I'm not sure you have seen them prove that. But in any case, we'll come back on the 4th, and then we'll stand by for judgment. So we'll keep it simple. We'll take your questions, and when I'm done, uh, my colleague Nana B will do a quick tree translation, and then Faisal will do a quick Hausa translation uh, for us. We're going to take your questions. Samir Jemfi stated that uh, after this proceedings, uh, uh, if unfortunately the ruling goes against them, they're going to use any other institutional measures to still um, bring out the facts that they need from the EC chair. I want to ask, are you also ready to counter um, all the... Uh, so for those who didn't hear the question, his question is the admission by the petitioners team now that they are willing to explore other avenues for the so-called accountability and truth that they talk about. First of all, let us reiterate that the truth is what has been laid before the court. The truth is what has been gazetted. That Nana Dodanko Kufuado, when you add the 38,000 plus polling stations, or you add the 275 constituencies, or you add the 16 regions, the truth is that Nana Dodanko Kufuado crossed with over 500,000 votes as a margin. It is the petitioner who seeks to challenge this truth but has not brought his truth to court. Whatever counter evidence that he may provide to cause even the chair of the first respondent to get into the box, I'm not sure you have seen it here. But today they are admitting before you that they are willing to explore other avenues of accountability. Remember, about two weeks ago, we've been arguing before you that if you want accountability, generally, you can come to parliament. The parliamentary committees of inquiry that can look into whatever matter you bring. And there's a 137, 137 plus one parliament. You can come to parliament. You can come under the Right to Information Act asking for some particular information. If it's judicial review that you want, that you think that the EC has not done something specific and the courts must bring its power to bear on it, the high courts are there for judicial review. So it is interesting that at the end of the case, when we are all wondering where the evidence that they were supposed to provide to back their case is. They are now opening up to you that they are willing to uh, consider other um, platforms of accountability. We'll see which ones they choose, what case they make, and if there's any um, uh, adverse arguments that need to be made there, we'll respond accordingly. Are there any other questions? Like I said, we know the big story that you have today, so we won't bother you with too much talk. Nanavi. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Abusia for any or mana this year, a better mercy. Send your minia, Kodjo upon Chroma, a bo netofano, Sana Musumicrano, a pot bear in noon. Near a decay, Mubakaya, Nano, and I could do both forty two just say, and car, or massa man anchor, or matumu upon no more boom crow in every. Na omon semni jina na omose omaka amanasa omadan se fuo enso asa eko wia che na omose awose ya chen mami jane mensa ebe jina dakem ansa na omas semno SCP nesita anunti omo pe eko ya free court ho court mo omo eko ya nomu mi omas semne ni nomu bi omas semne ni swa. Oma sade atu court enim se court enhye mami jin mensa na ombe jina da kam na ye ntoto na no obeka ya eno court empanimfo nso nyina oma dwen e ko benkrom e ma omo ka se da bi enya de omema kwan ama kwa dubofo e petitioners no oma bi oma semnani eno achi ena asem e beto dwane se omo sade ade sade e sabe to a year Supreme Court and him say, As someone on one more kind, same common maquine, Emma Moon, your massem nino. Almost there, almost I such a imagining. Sansa and Rebu Honoma, a man fine yerjuma. And the court, I church him, Sir Ansana, Obaba Supreme Court, sir, almost such a magino, and Yaka, and then you say, Oma, Unia Maswanwa, but say, Yen such a yasmini. I also would say, sir, not a dear potting, a dear sunco, a dear one was so do one one on Sanka, a brand new dear semino. Nasadia one was one a month and ten year any pepper your acre gem. 
eno kwa dubo fo ne ntimi ankyere na ye na anu komo bo na omo kan no eno anu omo saka dada no a asem fufuro bia eni ho eti court esa kwa yo be kan ya ne empanifo mienu sa be kan ho momo ye nkuno empanifo nkuno nyina se asem amu de bae no eni nyina so emremu ye hu ye enu ntino ye ntimi ema mo kwan ma mu nsa mbie mu asem ne ni na emu nyame ya adu ma ya hye busumi ya baba rumi ada e toso 94th march ye de yatemu eba eh 